Okay, so for this video, I'm going to show you how I draw Fergal and how I draw Fern as well, who's the new character from my book, Fergal Meets Fern. So grab a paper and a pencil or pen and let's get drawing. Okay, let's have a go at drawing Fergal. Now, uh, I'm imagining where he's going to be on the page and I'm going to start, you know, not right down near the bottom and not right up at the top. So I'm going to plan it out. He's going to be in this space here. So we start with the end of his snout. We'll just draw pretty much a straight line. Uh, from there, we're going to draw the top of his snout, which is going to be over to about here. It's a little bit more than double the height of his snout. Here we are. So we go slightly curved line. And at the end of his snout line, I'm going to draw his eye. There we are. It's an oval shape. And then his second eye is tucked behind the snout, so we don't see all of it. But it's the same shape, just uh, to the left. Now, for his horn... We do a sort of banana shape there, and then another shape, which is a bit like a leaf, for his ear. We just shade in where the fold is. I can go back to the front of his snout now, and I'm going to do a similar line to the this one at the top, uh, but it's going to curve the other way, so it gives him a sort of nice tapered snout look. And we'll carry on, but we're not going to go as far as this eye. We're going to stop just before we get to this eye here. So we go all the way along, and I might just flick the end of the line up. That gives him a little contented smile. Now, from not the very end of the, the mouth line, but just a bit over to the left, underneath this second eye, I'm going to draw the line down for his tummy. And it's going to be about the same length as his snout was. I'm going to go straight down the page, do 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 to about there, and then we flick round, that's his tummy there. Right, we're getting there. Next, we need a curve for his leg. So that's his, he's sitting on his haunches, so we're going to do another curved shape, like that. Uh, sound effects always help. And then at the bottom of that curved haunch shape we're going to do the zigzag of his feet now they're all because of the angle we're looking at they're a bit bunched up so you won't see them completely clearly but here we go we basically go zigzag 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 and bring that foot back a little bit further than that first leg line uh, we can then fill in the back of his leg like so it's a similar curve to the first one now just like we did with the eye his other leg needs to go in, and it will be the same shapes, but obviously they're tucked behind, so we don't see all of them. So another curved little haunch, and then another set of zigzags, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. And we're, we're really getting there now. Um, underneath the ear, we'll just see one of his scales, and then we'll see his little wing. And that's made of curves again, a bit like these leg shapes. So we go curve, and another curve, and then two more underneath. One, two. Just like the ear, we'll fill in the shading inside. And then we'll go zigzag, zigzag. Now we've got to do the tail. I tend to start with the bottom of the tail so we can get the, the line in there first. Nice curved shape. I'm imagining where it's going to go. You can even rehearse it if you want like that. That's where you're going to send your pencil. So picking up this tummy line on the other side of the leg, we're going to go, and I use my whole arm for this. Uh, move a whole nice curved motion with my whole arm there. Uh, from the end of the tail, we get that little hook shape. And then we'll come back with a parallel line, following the tail round till we get to about here. And then he needs his tail scale, so some more zigzags. So it's all zigzags and curves, this. Uh, he needs an arm, so two more curved shapes. Starting about where the wing is, a little bit into the body, underneath the eye there. We go one curve down. And the second one is going to go almost parallel but it will taper out at the bottom to allow room for his fingers so we're going to go similar curve there we are and then we need zigzag zigzag for his fingers and his other arm could just be tucked behind might not see it but it's quite nice if we just pop it in there have him waving so a couple of curved lines and a zigzag zigzag let's get his thumb in there and let's add his scales just suggest where those scales are. And then we need his eye. Now, where the eyes go can really change his expression, but for the moment, I'm just gonna have him looking directly at us. And I might just add his eyebrows in just for a bit of expression. And then the little nose hole there, and maybe just a little, little puff of smoke coming out because it is Fergal. And there we go, there's a Fergal and uh, Okay, so let's now have a look at drawing Fern. Um, we'll need a Fergal for comparison, so let's put a Fergal in there. Let's 
you're going to be a little bit worried because this new baby sister has arrived. Okay, there we go. So there's Fergal, um, which we've drawn in the other tutorial, but uh, when it comes to Fern, to show that she's younger, um, her eyes are going to be the same size, but her body obviously will be much, much smaller. Her snout's going to be shorter. Everything's going to be closer together. So we'll do the end of the snout as normal, but instead of going over here, we're just going to do a short snout and then straight into an eye. The same sort of size eye, but just a shorter snout there. And again, the second eye, just peeping over. A little smile, because she's smiling all the time. She's not worried. The horn is going to be a little bit stumpier, because it hasn't grown yet. Ears might look quite big uh, in comparison to the rest of her body. And then her arms are going to be super short, even shorter than Virgil's here. So we've really got not much to play with there. Short little arm. Her body's only going to be about the same length as her snout. So we're going to go down. Whoop. And we're already into the foot. And the second foot. Now with babies, the feet will be proportionally bigger. So we've got big eyes, big ears, big feet. That will help her look young. A tiny little wing there. And then just a short tail. Little mark for her snout. I'll just fix those eyes a little bit. Yee! There we go, there's a little fern. So, same size ear and eyes, uh, pretty much the same, similar size feet, um, much shorter snout, much shorter body, bring all the features together and you'll get a young version of Fergal. Well don't worry, that's okay. We all get stuck sometimes. You need to need to get some ideas, do you? Okay, well, you need to head over to Moon Lane TV on YouTube, I think. Yeah? Well, they've got loads and loads of videos. They've got readings from authors, reading their books. They've got draw-alongs. There's loads and loads of videos where you can find out how to draw different characters. So you should definitely get over there, and then you'll get loads of inspiration, I think. Yeah? Okay, well, let's have a look. Let's see if we can dial it up for you.